Glass that gradually shades from one color to another has ingredients such as uranium and gold, which are sensitive to heat. When part of the object is reheated, it strikes or changes color. Heat-sensitive glass became very popular in the late 19th century. Many companies used heat-sensitive glass to create a variety of products, sometimes imitating porcelain. A matte finish could be attained by exposing the glass to acid. Companies gave heat-sensitive glass exotic names like Amberina, Peach Blow and Burmese. Colorless glass is gathered over a large piece of heat-sensitive glass. The two are inflated together. A constriction is made near the blowpipe. The lower half of the bubble is reheated and further inflated. The bottom is flattened. And the vessel is transferred to the punty. The open end is reheated and tooled to its final shape. The vessel is allowed to cool nearly to the point of cracking and then it's reheated in the furnace. During this reheat, the upper half heats more quickly than the lower half and it changes color. A mass of heat sensitive glass is manipulated to form the pig. Using the tweezers, the snout is formed the ears, and the legs. The eyes are formed at the same instant with the two tips of the pincers. A constriction is made near the tip of the gathering iron, and this is where the pig will be separated from it. When the pig is as cool as it can be without cracking, it's reheated. The tips of the ears, the feet, and the snout heat first, and the heat-sensitive glass reflects this difference in the cooling rate. After annealing or slow cooling, cold working is used to grind away the lowermost points of the legs so that it stands stably. There are many types of heat sensitive glasses. Here's a demonstration of lamp working to show three. The tip of a rod of opaque white glass is heated in a flame. The crystals which cause the opaque effect begin to dissolve in the glass when it gets above around 14 or 1500 degrees Fahrenheit. As the glass cools, the opacity returns as the crystals again grow in the glass. Here, the rod is slightly colorless, and during reheating, the striking process occurs. The part which has been reheated is a ruby red. The rod remains colorless. This is a tube of a heavy lead glass. The flame is a reducing flame, and during reheating, metallic lead is revealed at the surface of the glass.